In this episode, we review the stacking process of battery production, where the positive and negative electrodes are cut into sheets, stacked with a separator between each layer, and laminated to create a standard cell. We'll go over the 11 steps required to produce a battery in this video. Step number one, mixing. The electrode of a lithium ion battery is the most crucial component of the cell. During the mixing phase, multiple ingredients are mixed together to create a slurry. The more homogeneous the slurry, the more stable the composition of the battery. The second step is coating, where the slurry is applied to the positive and negative electrode sheets along with the conductive agent and binder to create what we call coated rolls. These rolls need to have a consistent color and be defect free without any exposed foil, particles, scratches, wrinkles, etc. that can cause lithium disposition during use. The third step, pressing. A higher compaction density can increase battery capacity, reduce internal resistance and polarization, extend battery cycle life, and improve the performance of these lithium ion batteries. Step number four, cutting and punching coated rolls. At this point, the coated rolls are cut with the stencil to form different layers. These layers are then removed from the rolls for assemblage. Step five is stacking, otherwise known as Z-stacking. The cut pieces are stacked layer by layer in order of negative, separator, positive, separator, negative, etc. The sixth step is welding, where the positive and negative poles of the stacked layers of anode and cathode are attached together to form a singular cell. In the seventh step, the cells are covered with an aluminum plastic film and the top and sides are sealed together using heat. In the eighth step, electrolyte is injected into the packaged cell where it will act as a carrier for transporting lithium ions in the battery. Specific additives can also improve the battery's performance in terms of safety and even extreme temperatures. The ninth step is battery formation. The battery materials are activated by charging and discharging, and a good SEI film is formed on the surface of the negative electrode. The performance of the SEI film determines the rate and self-discharge performance of the battery. Step 10 is degassing. The battery formation process generates a large amount of gas, which can affect the cell's performance. As a result, the cell needs to be degassed, and after degassing, the cell is packed immediately to ensure air tightness and the excess edges are cut off. Finally, step 11. To ensure consistency in a battery performance, the battery needs to carry out tests, such as on the capacity, the internal resistance, and self-discharge rate to distinguish between batteries with different performance issues. And these 11 steps of the cell stacking process, believe it or not, is just a brief overview. With the continued expansion and development of the energy industry, this process is still in long-term development. Issues with battery safety and efficiency in production lines can only be improved over time. And that's all for today. If you have any questions about today's topic or have any battery-related topics that you want to know, contact us by email at info at We may even answer your question in the next Battery Monday. Until then, my name is Zach, and thank you for watching.